As you can see here, we are now at 2,401 megabit per second on the 5 gigahertz channel connected to this little guy. There's nothing wrong with this setup at all, no. And it's running completely solid. And that little guy would probably set you back about $90, which is one of the cheaper options, but you do have to jump through a few hoops to actually get it to work optimally. One thing that's always been bothering me with that entire process of trying to fix the Quest 3, I did try to upgrade my TP-Link extender, which was the first thing I tried when trying to fix the Quest. It still showed me 1200 megabits per second in the speed. And that's been bothering me ever since I managed to solve and understand how the Quest 3 works, because you should be able to get 2,401 megabits per second using a 5 gigahertz network as long as it's running in 160 hertz. It annoyed me so much that that unit, which I actually sold, I bought back a used one because I really want to retest it and see why the hell couldn't I get that thing to run at full speed on this headset. I've set, in the, set this up again, which you can follow the guide on my other video on how to do. If you go into more here, you can see that it's still running. It's running at the actions point mode. And if you go into Wi-Fi, you should normally be able to go into Wi-Fi here and adjust in advance, like the, the, the speed and the, the, the channel width and stuff like that. But you don't get that option in the app. If I go into the advanced option on my normal Wi-Fi, you can tell here that I can actually select the width of the channel length and how fast this network should run at. But on this extender, you really don't have that option. But to override the speed of this uh, access point, you actually need to use the web client. Here we go. We have now this page, which is just dedicated to that access point. And now if we press on wireless, and wireless settings, we can see that the two gigahertz is disabled. And this is the five gigahertz, which looks like this. Look at all the different options that you suddenly have available here that you don't have in the app. What we're gonna do is go channel width, which is set to auto. If you click that, you get this little drop down, and now you can actually fix it to 660 megahertz. Just press save, and I'll promise you, once you've rebooted and connected to your quest, this will have that 2,401 megabit per second that we've always wanted.